Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today and a huge win for President Trump down in Florida, where Jack Smith is currently seeking to charge Trump with the uh, what was it? The uh, files that he took from the White House, the undocumented files, top secret files or whatever they call them. Right. Uh, where the president has ultimate authority to declassify any file because he is the the executive of the executive branch. That is the power granted to him. Well, anyway. Uh, Jack Smith has been absolutely being devastated down there by Judge Cannon. And after this exchange with Merrick Garland, uh, Thomas Massey actually helps out Trump in this scenario where Judge Cannon now has decided to go ahead and have this uh, exact question about special counsel status for Jack Smith, even constitutional. Is it even uh, able to be under this uh, purvy of this uh, of this uh, of the scope of special counsel, which Thomas Massey argued that it didn't. This uh, this is unconstitutional and he should not even have the status. So this case should be basically thrown out. So let's take a look at this video over here coming to us from uh, Massey's own Twitter account. And we'll take a listen to this exchange with Merrick Garland. Let's take a listen. That's unanimous consent to submit for the record an amicus brief by the former Attorney General Edwin Meese. Um, Without objection. The, the question presented is whether private citizen Jack Smith lacks authority to represent the United States. Uh, also asked unanimous consent to submit for the record an article titled, Was it legal to appoint Jack Smith in the first place? This is a heritage publication. Without objection. I want to start by reading you the appointment clause of the Constitution. Article 2, Section 2, Clause 6 states the president shall nominate and by and with the advice and consent of the Senate shall appoint ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls, judges of the Supreme Court and all other officers of the United States whose appointments are not herein otherwise provided for and which shall be established by law. Are US attorneys nominated by the president and confirmed by the Senate according to this appointments clause? They are appointed um, uh, by the president and confirmed by the Senate. Wouldn't you agree that U.S. attorneys are held to the appointments clause because they are delegated some part of the sovereign power of the United States, such as the ability to make indictments and charge individuals with crimes? I would say that those are not the reasons why, and a court has already ruled on the question of whether special counsels are subject to the appointments clause um, in the Mueller case and ruled that they were not. Was um, this was matter Jack is not Smith? Was Jack Smith nominated by President Biden or confirmed by the U.S. Senate? You're asking me about a case again. Motions filed. This, just this is a simple another. question. No, I'm not. Was gonna... Jack Smith nominated by President Biden? No, he was not. Was he confirmed by the Senate? No, he was not. When was the special counsel statute passed? There is no special counsel statute. There was an so, independent counsel statute that was uh, expired. So it expired. So what gives you the authority to appoint a special counsel? To create, you've created an office in the in the U.S. government that does not exist, and without authorization from Congress. And absolutely, right after this, obviously, um, Jack Smith, or not Jack Smith, Mueller, was absolutely just dumbfounded, didn't know what to uh, to say after that. But we see here. Uh, from CNN, Judge Cannon expands the hearing on Trump's request to declare special counsel's appointment invalid. Uh, so, of course, Judge uh, um, Judge Cannon here obviously possibly even listened to Judge or Judge um, Congressman Massey uh, yesterday as he was grilling Mueller, who did a horrible job representing uh, Biden and the uh, in the uh, interest of him going after his political opponents. Right? He did not do a very good job in in doing that for their side. Right. Uh, however, what was uh, obviously uh, very apparent is that this is a total witch hunt that has been uh, used in the Department of Justice and by uh, Joe Biden to go after Trump in order to put him away uh, to lock up his political competitor. And that's what's typically that's what's happening right now. So bravo to uh, Thomas Massey, absolutely obliterating uh, Robert, or not Robert Mueller, dude, might as well be Robert Mueller, <laughs> um, Merrick Garland uh, yesterday at the hearing. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my socials in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.